How's the board doing? Today I got my Gen 5 supercharger body. I got it all sanded down, cleaned up. I did it. Cleaned up with a wire brush and some sandpaper. Just went through and cleaned it, polished it up a little bit, get ready for paint. So now my next step is to clean the intake, which is built up with a bunch of carbon on the inside. So the tools I'm going to be using today will be brake parts cleaner. I got an assortment of wire brushes. You got the soft bristle or the copper ones or the steel ones. You can probably use other, other chemicals to clean, clean all this out. I'm just going to spray it, let it soak for a little bit. Then basically just going to take the wire brush and get some light in here. Take the wire brush and then clean, scrub it a lot. I take a lot. Try to get rid of all the carbon build up so I can get this thing all nice and clean. Get ready for paint. I'm gonna put on my 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix GTP. So I figured I'd try to do like a little vlog video. And you can see the intake is already clean while I've been scrubbing it. I just want to get this thing as clean as possible before I put it on the car. Right now it's negative two out outside. So my garage is still cold. So I can work for probably about half an hour out here if I have to go back inside. I don't have any heat heat in here. So you just have to keep brushing it. That works a little better. So it's pretty easy to clean up one of these intakes on the supercharger. Depends how much carbon you got built up in it. So I just keep spraying it, let it soak. All I have right now to clean it is brake parts cleaner you can use. Carburetor cleaner. I don't know if you can use like gasoline or some other chemicals. So yeah, I do a quick video or a little couple videos show my process. I'm using brake parts cleaner. You can use other chemicals to clean. But I'm basically spraying it, letting it soak for a minute or two, then scrubbing it with a wire brush. I have three different, you know, wire brushes. I got the, the steel, the plastic, or the brass ones. So I'm trying to see how clean I can get this. It's hard to see, but I'll show you a little example. So I'm trying to get this clean so I can get it get it painted and get it put on this spring. So stay tuned.
So I got most of this cleaned up as good as I can. Got the inside all cleaned up. I'm, it was focused on on getting the inlet all clean. There's still little bits I gotta do. I wire brushed all this, got it all cleaned up. Might go through later with a little sandy wheel, like grind these down, which is probably not a huge deal. I know with the airflow coming straight through here, but I just want to polish this up, make it look pretty. And then the inlet, I got pretty, pretty cleaned up. My phone will focus. A little cold. Uh, you can see down there. There you go. So I got most of it cleaned up. There's a couple spots I couldn't get with the wire brush. i just spraying a bunch of brake parts cleaner. I might go back through and try to hew something else. So, with all these bumps on the casting on the inlet, I might just take some sandpaper and just lightly scuff it up or get it all smooth. I'm not going to port it or anything because the Gen 5 superchargers are already pretty efficient just the way they are. So, I got all these casting marks. I know, still, if you take your finger inside of it, your finger only no. You got all that with the air. The air goes over top of the bumps, doesn't flow freely. So that's where I'm at with my Gen 5 supercharger. So I'll keep you guys updated on if I decide to polish it or paint it. I mean, I'm thinking I might polish it, but I don't know what I'll do. Because I got. I went over the whole entire thing with a wire wheel, no sandpaper. I got rid of the circle casting molds here and there. So, thanks for watching my video. I'll keep you guys up to date, updated. I got my schnout over here. I gotta finish. There's a little bit more paint on on here. I start taking sandpaper and I was smoothing this all out. So now I just gotta clean the snout up, finish cleaning up the little tiny spots of carbon buildup that I missed or I can't get to without getting a Dremel or a wire wheel, some kind of an extension to go way down in there. So.